Our God is so mighty and unique. Beloved, he has given us another day. So let us rejoice and pray to our Father. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you alone is worthy to be praised this morning. We magnify the holy name, our Lord and our Master Jesus, the King of Kings, everlasting covenanted God, miracle working God. You have given us a day like this. We are still breathing all over the world. Your creation, it is by your mercy and your love. You are the owner of life. So this morning, our Savior, our King, our Lord, we thank you for giving us a breath. It is by your mercies that we are still alive. Ancient of days, take all your glory. Because you share your glory with no man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the word that you are about to give it to us. Spirit of the living God, I am just a clay. So speak through me and let your word come forth. Unto thee, O Lord, with you, all things are possible. Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you, our King. Thank you, Holy One. In your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, our God is so unique and wonderful. He has given us a word, the Spirit of God. The title of the message is Revelation of Righteousness of God. And without wasting time, let us see the scripture. That is Roman 1, and the verses are 14 to 17. Let's hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Romans 4, 1, 14 to 17 says, I am, this is by Paul speaking, I am a debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both of wise and to unwise, 15. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe, to the Jews first and also to the Greek. 17, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Beloved, we all know a man is guilty before God and we all need righteousness. As God, we need as child or as a saint of God, we need to be righteous. Man must change from incurable disease of sin and to be delivered. So what we read, we go to verse 15. Paul went to Rome to preach as he was ordained by God to carry the message around. So he went to Rome and he was assigned to do God's work because he was called by God on his way to Damascus. And we all know what happened. In Acts 9.6, God revealed himself to Paul. So beloved, let's see. And we all know that Rome is a place where our Lord Jesus Christ died. Beloved, when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, he will lead you to preach the gospel anywhere you are. And you believe the word of God. Yes, we must trust the word of God. It works. It never fails. 
So, as a believer, we must trust the word of God. There is power in the word of God. It is a salvation for the soul. So, Paul went to Rome to preach. As we know, the word does not fail. As we know, the word of God is forever and forever. That never passes away. And we know the word of God is internal life. Hallelujah. We continue. In verse 17, it says, the word of God is righteous of him. Righteousness reveal what? Faith. So let's hear the word of God in Matthew 17. What Christ is telling us. Oh, beloved. Matthew 17 says, 17 and the verse is 20. Let's hear the word of God. This is by Christ Jesus, our Savior. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for very, I say unto you, if you have a faith like gain of master seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to the yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Hallelujah. This is Christ. He is telling us that if we have faith like a master seed, we will tell the mountain to be moved and it will be moved. Beloved, we all know in the scripture or in the Bible, righteous men like Noah, like Job, Abraham, Enoch, they were righteous before God and they worked in faith. So in our generation, are we doing what these men did? And they were righteous. So you and I, we have to examine ourselves and to do what this man did. He is coming soon. So we have to change our mind and repent in our hearts. Beloved, let us continue. This is Matthew 6, Matthew 9, 13. Let's hear the word of God. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. But go ye and learn what it means. It, it means I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not to come to call the righteous, but the sinner to repent. Oh, beloved, Christ is telling us about sacrifice of the heart, a commitment to him. The heart belongs to him. Sacrification of the heart, the mind, and the soul, and our strength, and also loving our neighbor as ourselves. What a mighty God. By doing all this, that is mentioned in Matthew 9, 13, the spirit of God will help us to change you and I because he will convert us, our sinful nature. And the spirit of God will help us and deliver us from all our sinful way. Beloved, we need the spirit of God to direct our path. As in Proverbs 9, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Let's hear the word of God. Oh, beloved, he is able. I want to sing a song to our master Jesus, our savior. I want to minister a song. He is able. He's able to deliver. He's able. 
is able to deliver ma ma zaya is able to deliver ma ma zaya is able oh, to deliver is able is able to deliver hallelujah is able is able to deliver ma ma zaya is able to deliver hallelujah ma ma zaya is able oh, oh, oh to deliver hallelujah our Messiah is able to deliver us from all our afflictions. So let's hear the word of God in Proverbs 3 and the verses are 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all their hearts and lean not unto your own understanding. 6. In all the way acknowledge him and he shall direct their paths. It is him alone who will do this. The spirit of God will help us. He will direct our path when we all total surrender to the spirit of God. He will help us as he is our helper and also a friend. What a mighty savior. May the Holy Spirit help us to make it in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of God, we thank you for the glory and honor for the message that you have given to us this morning. It is for a proof, for a correction, for instruction in righteousness. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the living, the living of God. May you bless your ordained prophet, Prophet Kenew, and the family, and also his viewers that listen to him on a daily basis. May you, Spirit of God, bless them. What their heart desire, may you give it to them. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, amen.